is Kelly with the Children's Museum of Sonoma County and welcome to this month's art adventure. We have a really fun, simple project. We're gonna make some wildflower butterflies. So you'll see in our supplies, we need some scissors, a marker, glue, and some paper. And then most fun of all, we get to go out and pick some wildflowers to use for our project. Look at all these beautiful wildflowers that we found. I hope that you found some really beautiful ones too. So once you've collected your flowers, you're ready to get started on the project. And I'll show you our first step. Okay, so we have three different sizes here. You can use any size you want. This is a really wonderful practice for uh, a couple different skills. And the first is folding. So when we fold, we take two corners and we bring them up to meet the other two. And then we use our finger to smooth down the crease. Our next step is going to be to use our marker to trace our butterfly wings. So we'll use our marker to make a big B shape. So two big curvy lines, just like that. After we're done with that, we can cut out our shape. Another great skill, using scissors and practicing cutting right along the line here to cut out the shape of our beautiful springtime butterfly. I wonder if you guys have seen any butterflies recently. I know when I was picking flowers, I saw a couple butterflies that were eating pollen out of the flowers. There we go. So you, when you open it up, you'll have a nice flapping butterfly shape. And the next step is we're gonna glue on our flower petals. So there are a couple different ways to do glue, which is our next step. And one way is that you can pour some glue out into a little bin and then use a paintbrush. And this helps you really, we really wanna glop it on here for this one, because we want some nice, thick glue for our flower petals to stick to. Um, so this is one option. And then I'll show you one thing that you can do is smoosh it together real quick and then open it back up and you'll have glue on both sides. And then you can just start to pull apart your flowers. You could tear the petals up into smaller pieces if you wanted to. And you're just gonna place them wherever your heart desires, wherever you feel like those flower petals need to go. They can go there. You can just tear off little pieces. These ones are really beautiful. There's all kinds of different colors here. You can do individual petals or some of these. It's kind of nice to do the whole flower because they're kind of a a sweet pea that has the whole flower together. There we go. So we're just gonna cover up our glue with all these beautiful different flower petals and make a nice rainbow flower petal butterfly here. And once we've covered up this glue, we can put some more glue on. I don't wanna put too much glue at once because it could dry out before I get my flower petals down. We just kind of tap, tap, tap so that they make it down. And you might find, I'm finding that there are some insect friends that are on some of these flowers. So you might find some insect friends on your flowers too. They're friendly. No, no worries there. You could put them outside if you wanted to. This is a great project to do outside too, if you have a space that you could work outside. We have some nice lupins, some California poppies, 
our beautiful state flower. Lots of flowers blooming right now. Oh boy. Okay, I'm ready to work on my bottom half here. And then our butterfly will be done. So here is our beautiful butterfly. I hope you had fun with this week's art adventure and that you join us next time. And stay tuned for a quick little bonus activity. Bye. Bonus. So one, there's lots of different things you could do with these. You could hang them up, you could put them in the window, but one quick little idea is that you can make a mask out of them. So you would just fold it in half again and then fold it again on one of the wings, ideally one of the bigger wings. So we have it folded twice. And then you're just gonna use your scissors to cut a little hole where your eyes could go. Okay, let's see how we did. So then you can make a butterfly mask. And maybe you could even get some string and tie it onto your face.